All right, all right. 8 June 2022, we have Bitcoin at 30,505 schmackaroonies. Uh, the other guys, the other altcoins are out there chugging along. I really don't care anymore about altcoins. They follow the leader. They follow Bitcoin. Stack that Bitcoin. That's what I'm doing. If I have any altcoins, I am surely, most definitely flipping them when I can, exchanging them into Bitcoin, stacking those satoshis. Anyway, there you go for the for the price today. This article I want to talk about is a cautionary tale of when government thinks they know what's best based on their fee fees, based on their feelings, and based on whoever can uh, pay them the most to vote in the in the lobbyist's favor. Basically, when you talk about a ban, like they're talking about a Bitcoin mining ban in horrible New York State, you got to wonder who's behind it, what's the motivation. Again, you follow the money. When you want to ban something, what does that mean? They're a threat to you. They're a threat to your uh, income, your 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 domain, and they want to get rid of you by uh, calling their buddies up in the local gov local and state government and saying, "Get rid of them, off with their heads." It is some serious Game of Thrones stuff, and it's always about money and power. So here we have the installed governor of New York, not elected. She has not been elected. She was installed because they ousted the other governor. Again, like I said, Game of Thrones stuff. So the New York governor, yet to commit to signing Bitcoin mining bill into law, will be looking at the bills very, very closely. Well, I hope so. My God, just don't sign stuff. But I know you just sign stuff without reading it. We have a lot of work to do over the next six months, uh, said Governor Hutchell. Yeah, they're working on totally destroying every right of every person in that state. It's a horrible place, man. Get out. Get out of New York. I thought it was just a city. Get out of the state. Yeah, anyway. Your New York governor. What's an governor? Come on, Coin Telegraph. There's a thing called spell check. <clears throat> So this governor is yet to public commit to signing the controversial proof of work POW, 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 crypto mining ban bill. Instead, noting that, oh my God, what's this text? They got a comma with a small comma. All right, guys, Cointelegraph, please use spell check. All right, and a grammar check. What is going on here? They're mixing fonts too. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, about this dumb POB crypto mining ban bill, instead of noting that her team will be looking very closely at the proposal over the next few months, why does it even take that long? You guys are just so stupid. Oh, my God. People that can't go into government. All right. If she signs the bill into law, POW crypto mining operations backed by fossil fuels uh, would no longer be able to set up shop or renew existing licenses in New York. Under new regulations, only POD operations backed by 100% renewable energy would be able to operate. That is just crazy. How, what renewable energy is in New York? I mean, you got a waterfall. You could use hydroelectric, but um, it's all a joke. Even electric cars, guess what? When you charge it, it's all coming from a coal plant, oil plant, maybe a nuke. If you have a nuke plant in that, in that state, I doubt it. Who knows? It's all a joke. It's all it's all just like fee fees, this climate crap, all this crap, renewable energy. Again, when they prove renewable energy doesn't work, it's it's just not cost effective. It, it hurts nature. Uh, the stupid windmills are killing lots of birds. So all you uh, people that are so into climate stuff and renewable energy, look at the stats. You are animal killers. So there. Whee! Anyway, let's go on. New York State Senate. <laughs> passed the bill on June 3rd to the dismay of members in the crypto community, meaning the fate of the bill is now in the hands of the installed Governor Hutchell, who has the power to approve or veto the legislation. At this stage, it appears that the Democrat, the Democrat right there, that's all you need to know, guys, I'm telling you, whatever you may think, don't be brainwashed. Look at the plan, look at the game here. It's all, it's all obvious what's happening. Even though... This installed governor has no intention of rushing the decision. She, he, they, it may be uh, have bigger fish to fry with the upcoming primary election on June 28th. Yeah, we all know what that means. They got to focus on what they do best is uh, making your vote not count. So anyway, let's go. During a news conference on Tuesday, Hutchell opted out not to draw a line in the sand regarding the pow band. Pow, 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 pow. As she suggested, the deliberation process could take a few months. 
We will be looking at the bills very, very closely. We have a lot of work to do over the next six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what your plan is. Get out of that state, guys. Get out of those cities. It's horrible what's going on, man. <laughs> it's just a horrible, horrible mindset. I don't know, guys. But if you go to other states, do not vote the way you voted to make the state you're in now so horrible. If you're coming to the other great free states, vote accordingly like the people there that have made that a great free state. That's all I'm saying. Come on. Use your critical thinking skills. Turn off the TV. Do your own thinking. Come on. Let's get with it. Earlier today, the Democratic candidates for governor, including Hotchell Congressman Tom Osawa and public advocate, whatever, faced off in the debate ahead of the election. All right. That's why they're delaying, because they, it may be an election issue. They don't really care what's best, and they don't even understand what's best. They're realizing, oh, crap, this may actually hurt the fact that I actually have to run for office now instead of be appointed or installed. Anyway, let's go. Reporters uh, such as Times, the Times people follow the event live. And noted that Hostel suggested that her team hasn't had time to fully review the bill. What is her team? I want to know names and what their experience is and technical background and understanding what crypto is but does support the idea of reducing the environmental impact of fossil fuel mining plants. Have you been to New York? That whole state is a big eco disaster. Come on. Oh my God. And they're worried about little people running GPUs and farms that are probably more efficient than doing anything else. If not, they actually regulate the electricity flow in the state. And uh, there's actually scientific proof that shows that crypto mining and the electricity grid is beneficial. I don't know. Look at Texas. They get it. Oh, let's see. Who's this guy? Joshy Solomon. Oh, I clicked on Twitter. I don't want to go to Twitter. Twitter is it. Twitter is bad. Hotchell now suggests her team hasn't had time to review the bill or, uh, for crypto proof of work moratorium of new licenses that supports the concept of preventing fossil fuel plants from doing any harm to the environment. Oh, my God. They just want to destroy everything. They don't get it. Speaking on the bill late last month, Hotchell also stressed the need to balance both environmental protection and job creation. All right, we have the balance. It's just all blah, blah, blah to uh, to appease the, the left, the base, the violent left. They're not going to come out and do what's right. Yeah, it's just, I don't get it. It's all by plan. It's all by design. Uh, let's see. We have to balance the protection of the environment, but also protect the opportunity for jobs that go to areas that don't see a lot of activity, make sure that the energy that consumed by these entities is managed properly. Guys, look at the studies. The use of crypto in mining actually is a way to manage the electricity on the grid, if not stabilize the electricity on the grid. Texas has done this. They have studied this for the past year or so, and it's looking like it is actually beneficial to the grid. Yeah, what do you know? Who knows? That's just, that's just, I don't know. Facts are facts, and they're scared of facts. They seem to want a governor, governor, <laughs> governor with their fifis and uh, whoever's paying them the most money. POW mining has been a highly divisive subject in New York over the past couple of years with environmental groups such as Seneca Lake Guardian speaking out, oh God, another group, protesting and lobbying against Bitcoin mining. Uh, Firm Green Ridge Generation LLC in upstate New York on several occasions. All right, there's probably a reason if you look deep versus the uh, 30,000 foot view of this article, if you dig down deep to Seneca Lake Guardian, I bet there's a dispute over property. There's a dispute over something else in up, upstate New York that has them, has their little little thing up their butt that they're upset about. And they say, well, we got to go to the governor and complain and get them out of here. It's not about climate. It's not about environmental stuff. It's something else. Follow the money. Uh, Seneca Lake Guarding has something up their crawl, and they're just striking back by uh, lobbying and all this crap. Yeah, right here's the word, lobbying. That's one of the worst words in the uh, English language next to entitlement. So let's go through it. That's what's going on. Come on, use your brain. Look at human nature. Uh, these miners are like, wait, we're just trying to grow a business and make some revenue and do what's right. And then these guys are all, Seneca LG is all, uh, is all upset about something. Probably one of the uh, miners came in and married one of these guys' daughters, and he's upset. He goes, I'll get you back. Arr, 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 arr. Come on. That's usually what happens. While a long list of organizations, businesses, and labor groups also co-signed a letter in October calling on Governor Hutchell to deny permits for POW mining farms. I want to see the long list of businesses and labor groups. I want to see this list. Oh, whenever you see labor groups and you see Democrat 
yeah, Spidey Sense tingles. Come on, let's get with it. Let's get with the program. So that's it on the article? Wow, okay. What is the point of the article? So basically they're just, uh, they wrote an article to say they haven't reviewed it yet. And there's obvious reasons you picked this apart. Uh, there's a primary coming up. She is an installed governor. She now has to actually run an election based on her performance and her merit. Uh, I know that's a tough word to say these days, but again, odds are the uh, the game is rigged in her favor. So this is all fluff right now. So once she's done with the election, uh, the already rigged election, she will be good to go with uh, implementing some of these stupid policies to hurt New York. Uh, again, get out of New York, guys. But again, if you do, vote the right way. Vote accordingly for the benefit of the of just people. Get away from these authoritarian people who think they know what's best and or these little companies like uh, Seneca Lake Garden that know, uh, let's get some money together and lobby and get these guys out of here because they took our land from us and they're, rising, they're raising uh, real estate prices in our upstate New York town. And that's probably what's happening. Look at the details. Don't look at the fluff at the high level. It's all BS. Go down and say, what's the real motivation of these people? It's money, land, power. Bitcoin miners are coming in, buying up cheap property, raising prices, and the locals are probably upset. And now you're getting these uh, useful idiots on the payroll of the Democrats, like labor groups and stuff like that. They just say they just get given their marching orders. Go co-sign this bill. You know nothing about it. Just sign the stupid thing and move on. And uh, you, you've done your duty as my little minion in the Game of Thrones of New York, right? It's all sad. But again, if you're into mining, again, these are probably bigger miners, not just residential miners. But they're going to come for you next, obviously. That's how it works. First they come from them, then they come for you. Uh, get out of New York. 